Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It's a fairly calm evening tonight. We may be looking for the possibility of some more fog into the Mid-South late this evening, so that could be a problem as we get into around early on Christmas Eve morning. We also see the possibility of some more, shall we say, interesting weather heading our direction as we get into the course of the rest of the next couple of days, right on in through the end of the year. A very cold Old finish to 2017 from what it looks like into the course of the next few days. Doesn't look like we're even going to be getting above 50 degrees anytime soon. So nothing showing up in the way of very warm weather. So for those of you who are looking for the very warm weather to come back again, you're going to be disappointed. And for those of you who are looking for the colder weather for winter to set in, it arrived right on schedule and looking like no problem at all into the rest of the area where that is concerned. So some chilly days ahead. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. If you've never tuned in here before, welcome to our video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Glad to have you along. If you've never tuned in, again, forecast in the blue bar down at the bottom of the screen, scrolling along down here. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, at least you can read this and then be on your merry way if you need to. And then also, again, you can find out more information through our weather page at wreg.com slash weather, also on social media, and also, again, you can contact me on email at austin.onic at wreg.com. Several people checking in already this evening. Thanks a a lot for doing so. Merry Christmas to everybody if you're celebrating the holiday and looking again into the rest of the year. Quiet but cold. Again, we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little while. If you've got anything in the way of a weather report, we'd love to hear about it. Drop your location and your weather reports into the comment section. Put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to good use. Got the jacket on tonight. For some reason, the air conditioning is on in the studio, so it's just a little bit brisk in here for tonight. But in the meantime, again, definitely on the mild side for much of the area over the last few days, but that's going to be, again, something of the past into the next couple of days as well. Coming up, we'll take a look at web cameras. We'll take a look at earthquakes around the Mid-South. There were a couple of them today that you can help scientists with. More on that in just a little while. And, of course, we'll take a look at the forecast, which does include the potential for some more snowfall out there. Yes, I said it there. I feel better now. So we'll have to get all that out of the way coming up in just a little bit. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, here's what it looks like again in a nutshell at the blue bar in the bottom of your screen for those of you who are just tuning in. And, of course, for the next couple of days, mid-40s, that's about all we're going to get. And shower drizzle of a sort. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little while. For the big day itself, looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies and temperatures a little colder with a reinforcing shot of cold air hitting the area back to the mid 40s on Tuesday. Here and here at the day after Christmas is about as warm as it's going to get into the next week, the last week of 2017. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Thanks everybody who's joining us on our main Facebook page for tonight. Two earthquakes to tell you about for today. One was a little bit more on the minor side. It was a 1.6 around 7.30 this morning, if I'm not mistaken, just outside the boot heel of Missouri, almost underneath the Mississippi River. The other one was just a little bit earlier today, around 3.30 in the afternoon, and this one was a little bit more uh, powerful, about a 2.5 or so. Now, again, yes, this is nothing to do with weather, but it does have a lot to do with the New Madrid fault line, which sits right on our doorstep, so we kind of like to stay up to date as to what's going on here. So keeping you up to date on this is part of what we do here at News Channel 3 because we are on your side. Now, if you felt this or know anybody who did, have them go to either of these websites, memphis.edu at the University of Memphis, the Center for Earthquake Research and Information, memphis.edu slash CERI, or usgs.gov for the earthquake section and fill out a Did You Feel It report. Your information, citizen science, can help scientists at these locations study earthquakes. What was felt when, the effects of which afterwards, how powerful aftershocks, anything like that. You can provide that information. You don't have a Ph. You don't have to have a PhD to do anything in the way of major amounts of science. You can help with research, and this is a great way to do it. If you'd like to know more information, just visit my Facebook page for more details there. Back to Germantown tonight, towers back toward Poplar and Mendenhall. Again, just barely visible through the haze and the cloud cover out there. 
Poplar Pike and Germantown back into the area with numbers back in the upper 30s in Germantown, just north of Germantown High School. Poplar Pike from areas north of that and Germantown back towards Sycamore View and I-40 live view on our transmitter tower camera. Also looking at the flyover. Traffic is a little less heavy than what it was at dinner time, but still plenty of people either traveling, shopping, getting out for some holiday merriment tonight. And again, remember if you've had too much to drink, give your keys to somebody else. Let's try to make it a merry holiday for everybody and let's make certain everybody gets home safe and if you know somebody who's had too much to drink take their keys away from them do everybody a favor and offer them a ride home a place to sleep it off whatever you can help out on stuff like that and make certain everybody gets home for christmas and the holidays again I've seen too many things like that in the news business before so please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything out partying for tonight or the next couple of days cotton exchange camera lights from big river crossing reflected in the cloud cover over the downtown area, but nothing showing up in the way of snow at this point in time, so not really seeing much of anything going on here. Now, watching airport delays, they were stacking up earlier this evening around Newark, according to our CBS affiliate reporter there for this evening. Here around Memphis International Airport, tower, parking garage, main terminal, and the runways out that direction, showing a good, clear view for tonight, and everything moving along pretty well. Cloudy skies in Memphis International, no delays to report, so good news there, or delays of 15 minutes or less according to the FAA. Now major and connecting airports we are seeing some slowdowns JFK in New York and Newark in New Jersey we are seeing again a little bit of some activity mainly with volume of traffic a lot more people starting to travel as it gets closer to the holiday lots of people expected to be in motion as we head into tomorrow so there are some delays of about 45 minutes plus in Newark and also in New York City at JFK tonight. If you'd like to follow this information all you have to do is go to our website, wrag.com slash weather, or you can go here to fly.faa.gov. Great opportunity to keep up to date with what's going on. Please be safe on your holiday travels, or if you know somebody who's heading into the Mid-South, doesn't look like too much to worry about there. Merry Christmas to everybody who is celebrating it, and thanks for checking in on Facebook tonight. Again, if you're just joining us, drop your location and your weather reports, if you have them, into the comments section. We'd love to know where you are and what the weather's like where you are in the Mid-South or out of the Mid-South area. Where's the Mid-South, you ask? Maybe you've never tuned in here before for that. Northern Mississippi, Eastern Arkansas, West Tennessee with Memphis and Shelby County right there in the middle. That's what we collectively call the Mid-South area. And again, so far looking at decently quiet conditions for now with nothing showing up on Storm Tracker 3S radar. So clean sweeps for here. Our storm system from today, gone. It's all the way down to the Gulf Coast around the Florida Panhandle. A few scattered showers there. Light scattered showers all the way up the East Coast and dissipated as that makes its way off and into around the area of the Atlantic. We're not picking up much of anything else at this time in the way of very heavy amounts of rainfall. We do still have some of these pesky clouds sticking around the area. Some drier weather back here with a hole in the clouds around southwest Missouri and close to the Arklatex area, but beyond that we're not picking up anything on radar for tonight, so nothing major inbound, but a little bit more moisture up here could cause some interesting effects as we get into tomorrow. And that's why the National Weather Service has issued numerous winter weather advisories from Pennsylvania all the way back to Wyoming this evening. Could be some dicey travel north of Kansas City around St. Joe, back around Omaha, back to around areas close to Chicago, Cleveland, Gary around Detroit, and then down into around, looks like now portions of the Ohio River Valley, could be seeing some effects of some light snowfall. How much of that is going to make an effect on us well, right now it doesn't look like too much, but again, we'll explore that coming up here in just a little while. Live real-time weather information, 40 degrees, a very popular number, just past 8 o'clock, and wind starting to die down a little bit. We've been about 20 miles per hour plus in parts of the Mid-South throughout the rest of the day today, so a little bit less breeze, but still decently chilly out there. And if you'd like to access this information from the Weatherbug system, all you have to do is, again, go to wreg.com slash weather and click on the Weatherbug icon for more information on that. Let's go ahead and run the numbers for you into the rest of the evening. Again, so far, we're just not looking at too much of anything into and around the area for tonight. By tomorrow morning, News Channel 3 Daybreak with Todd Demers will be seeing temperatures back in the lower 30s and not seeing too much of anything else outside of just cloud cover out there. By mid to late tomorrow morning, temperatures rise a little bit into the mid to upper 30s to lower 40s. And then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, 
the amount of cold air that we have really is going to determine how much we wind up with and what. There's the possibility on Christmas Eve, about the time we head towards sunset, that we're going to get some moisture from back out of the north. It's not going to be much. It's definitely not going to cause any travel delays or problems, but there are some parts of the Mid-South that could see showers in the green, light showers, not a great deal of moisture with this, but just enough for the cold air to ring some of that moisture out as a possibility of a rain-snow mix in the pink, and then in the white gray, we may see some snowfall out there into tomorrow. But once again, we're not going to pick up anything in the way of measurable amounts of precipitation from what it looks like right now. So if you're anticipating getting a snowman building contest ready to go, doesn't look like enough for that. Just a brief potential of maybe a passing snow shower, and that's going to be about it for tomorrow afternoon as the Christmas Eve services at church begin to get into gear. Now, by the time the big guy makes his rounds coming up tomorrow night, about the time the kids are in bed dreaming of sugar plums and and whatever else you got dancing on through there, that's again going to be the possibility of some dry conditions and very cold as well. Temperatures back in the upper 20s to around the lower 30s. Now, Christmas morning itself, very cold, a little bit on the breezy side, but it looks like we may clear out by just a little bit. Maybe some more sunshine out there, but some clouds will be sticking around throughout much of the rest of the day. So we may see, again, some clouds out there in fairly dry conditions out there at this point in time. Uh, Palmer, Densford, no snowball fights. Nope, sorry about that. Not going to work on that at this point in time. Wish it would be that way, but uh, not this time around. And we're just getting into winter, so stay tuned. That may come up a little bit later on. Thanks to everything else across much of the area. Uh, Clyde George, Jackson, Tennessee. We try to include Jackson as much as we can, but uh, Jackson not specifically in the Mid-South News Channel 3 viewing area. So occasionally we do our best to let you know what's happening, especially when there's severe weather or winter weather heading your way. But uh, usually Jackson kind of has its own demographic area, so we don't usually cover it specifically unless there's something major going on. But we do keep an eye on it, so we'll let you know more about uh, what's going on there for much of the area there. But thanks to everybody for for joining us tonight, uh, Derek Mink, Gatlinburg. Wish I was there. My One of my wife's favorite places. She's originally from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Thanks a lot for checking on in for tonight. And everybody else who's saying happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Likewise to you. Hope you have a safe travel one out there for the course of the next couple of days. Now, as we get into the forecast tomorrow cold enough and enough moisture out there hanging just right above the surface could do a pretty good job of stirring up some fog. So tomorrow morning, a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going would not be such a bad idea because we could see some visibilities around or just below a half mile in many parts of the Mid-South. So please keep that in mind if you have any travels for tomorrow. Early start would be a very good idea. Now by Monday, again, early during the morning hours, snow showers possible just north of us. Not seeing much of anything for us here, but better possibilities of accumulations back around, say, I-70 and back toward the Great Lakes and the upper Mississippi Valley. Now, later this week, more potential of that snow starts to drift closer to the area. We do not see at this point in time exactly what we're getting, but there are signs from the computer models that we may be winding up with something in the way of frozen and or freezing precipitation coming up somewhere by the mid to late areas of this next week as we start to close out the last week of 2017. Are we looking for any substantial amounts of precipitation, frozen or freezing? Still, again, way too early to tell at this point in time. The computer models, we use about roughly a dozen of them to let you know what the forecast is going to be, and not all of them are in great agreement as to what's going to be happening. Now, as we get closer to around late Thursday, early Friday, the best potential of anything really happening is going to be just north of the Mid-South area. But this forecast that you're seeing here has been updated since we did our morning show update on weather over time, and there is starting to see that potential getting a little closer to the Mid-South as we start to close out the week. Could this dissipate entirely? Yes. Could this be something substantial for us? Yes. Or could it just be what we're looking at right now? All of the above. We're just going to have to wait and watch, especially News Channel 3, over the next few days, and we'll keep you updated on that. All right. Go ahead and run the numbers on the seven-day forecast, mid-40s, with, again, that potential for mainly drizzle. But if it gets cold enough and if the clouds hold back enough of the heat we, from the sunshine, we may see a lot colder conditions. So we may see some drizzle mixed with some type of precipitation out there tomorrow late morning into around the early afternoon. We'll keep our eyes on that, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. The big day itself, temperatures going back into around the lower to mid-40s. 
And that's going to be as good as it gets because a burst of cold air is moving in Sunday night into Monday. So a very cold start to the holiday itself. And looking again, excuse me one second here, appears we might have just had another earthquake up and around southeast Missouri. We'll check on that coming up in just a little while. Now again, dry for Christmas and looking dry for the day after Christmas. If you're going to be heading out to catch a movie or visit friends and family or whatever you're going to be doing, good travel conditions for both the holiday and the day after the holiday, so good news there. Now, Wednesday evening late. That's where we see the potential for maybe some precipitation. Another round of cold air heads on through. We've got these things moving through one after the other, and so we got some very cold air today and early this morning. Another cold air burst on Monday. Another one coming up on Wednesday. These can happen very easily at this time. One after the other just rolls up and heads on through. So some very chilly numbers as we get rid of 2017 and head into 2018. Thursday into Friday, this is where we see again that potential coming on through for the possibility of something in the way of freezing and or frozen precipitation possibly warm enough to be mixed with rainfall, possibly not. Again, very cold conditions out there are going to be expected. But once again, this is still way too early to tell on this. So you want to stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on this. Let's go ahead and get into the new year, shall we? Going toward 2018, New Year's Eve day. Temperatures not that warm back in the lower 30s, which means if you're heading out to watch the guitar drop on Beale Street, or anywhere else around the Mid-South. If it's an outdoor activity, you're going to need to bundle up because low temperatures early Monday morning on New Year's Day, very chilly back in the lower 20s, and there is a very slight potential late Sunday evening of maybe some snow showers taking place as well as we get out of 2017 and head into 2018. Again, nothing measurable at this point in time, but this is about seven to ten days out, so this is just a hint of something happening. Nothing definite at this point in time. Uh, for those of you bemoaning the fact that we can't get that accurate this far out, you try giving winter weather forecasting a try, and I would love to see your forecast and post it up here this far in advance uh, for guarantee purposes, because as of right now, it doesn't work that way. Again, we can see signs and ideas as to what's going to be coming on, hints, if you will, but anything in the way of a guarantee of snow this far out is still, again, kind of wishful thinking and should be taken with a very large dose of salt. So right now, this is what we're going to be looking for, the potential of it, the changes taking place over the next several days. Keep it tuned to News Channel three and we'll have a lot more of that coming up on air and online and on the radio if you'd like to know more about the forecast and you're out and about in the mid-south area can't tune us in on the tv away from the computer dial us up on the radio country 92.5 and oldies 102.3 on the east arkansas broadcast network stations and of course we'll have a lot more coming up with Tim, Jim, and Todd as we go throughout the next couple of days and keeping you updated as to what's going on with the forecast on WREG.com slash weather and throughout the rest of the area as well. I'll have a later edition of Weather Overtime coming up here at about 8.30 on my personal Facebook page, so stay tuned for more on that. You can catch me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash AustinonicWREG. And also, again, you can contact me if you haven't seen so far here on the right or pardon me, left-hand side of the screen. That's my right, your left. So right here, again, email address, austin.onic at wreg.com. Social media information in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. And also there is my email address floating on by, uh, let's see, right about there very slowly. So if you need to contact me, please feel free to do so. If you have suggestions about what we can feature on here that will keep you interested, climate details, satellite pictures, worldwide weather, if there's something on here you'd like to see, we want to know about it because we would love to be able to have you watch this again and again to keep you updated on what's going on, but we can't feature anything unless you tell us about it. So please drop me a line and let me know more about what you would like to see on here. We'd love to have you along for the ride and to keep you updated on this. I'll be on my Facebook page in just a few minutes at 8.30, and of course we'll have a complete update of the forecast. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news, and Glenn Carver is in for Mike Sadie with an update on sports, so stay tuned for that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, a meteorologist, Austin Onik, thanks for joining us for our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, on our main weather page, or our main Facebook page, I should say, and more coming up throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks for joining us for mid-Saturday evening. Be safe out there as we go throughout Christmas and the rest of the holiday season.